Parliament passed the Representation of the People Amendment Law Ropa in 2006. The law mandates the Electoral Commission to make provisions for Ghanaians living abroad to vote in national elections. After the law was passed in 2006, little was done with it between 2008 and 2011. A committee was set up to make recommendations on the way forward to the EC. The committee submitted its report in September 2011. In 2016, the Progressive Alliance movement took the matter to court seeking orders to compel the EC to implement raw power. Their reliefs were granted and the EC set up another committee to look into the modalities for implementation. At the time, the EC boss, Jean Mentor, had this to say about implementation. This means that we have to go to 48 countries, and I'm sure there are more, where Ghana has, you know, high commissions and, the, you know, register people. I think there's a criteria of registering about, uh, you know, not less than 500 people in each country. And so you look at that. So it's, it's a lot of work that has to be done. Now we are talking about extending to every Ghanaian. That registration hasn't been done. Mm. You know, it hasn't been done and, you know, they haven't been provided, you know, records and so, I mean, an opportunity to register and vote there. You know, what we did, what was done in, in the past was to register, as I said, citizens or Ghanaians working in embassies and with the United Nations and so on, and those who, students who were on Ghana government scholarship. And even then, they were voting by proxy. So this is a very different matter. It's very extensive. It's like holding elections within our country, Ghana, here. Mm -hmm. Of course, you have to you know, set up polling stations all over for, to enable people to vote, count it, and that's, it's an extensive process. It's 2024, months to the general election, and there is no clear-cut directive from the EC on Rupa. The alliance that has been at the forefront of the advocacy will have none of that. We went through the court system, the, ju the judiciary system. First, we went through parliament. Parliament made the law in 2006, passed it on to the EC to implement. The EC did not. So we took the EC to court. High court, we won, all right? The EC asked for extension because we brought a contempt of court against the EC led by lawyer Samson Anyenini. And still the EC didn't do anything. So what do we have to do? Clearly, by the statement that Jean Mesa just made, that the EC categorically has no plans to implement, and I'm quote, to implement Rupa for 2024. That means she's still acting within the contempt of court. Now, the court said do it starting with the 2020 like You didn't. You asked for extension to, to show the constitutional instrument to uh, parliament, and so we can move for it. You didn't. And now you come out to say categorically, categorically, who is, who is Jim Mensa to make that categorical statement anyway? The EC has not been available for comment on the issue. Duke Mentor Poku, TV3 News, Accra.